Uh, so far, we've used four lower grade quality plywood. That is four foot by eight foot. So four of those, right? We've got one high quality piece of plywood that is four foot by eight foot. A little bit of plastic wrap, which you can find in the paint aisle if you have moisture in your garage to protect your plywood. And then you've got three four foot by, that might be six foot, four foot by six foot horse stall mats. So three four foot by six foot horse stall mats. And then you want a box of one and five eighths inch screws for the bottom two platforms. Yeah, one and five eighths screws. Okay, you probably can't see that. Let me see. One and five eighths screws. That's gonna be on the perimeter of these bottom two boards. And then also down the middle where the seam is. And then you want a box of two inch screws for the middle platform and the horse stall mats. Now preferably when you get your two inch screws, you'll get some screws that have a washer attached to it or a flathead. So that way it doesn't go through, go through the, uh, the mats. I don't know if you can see those, so hopefully you can. So you wanna get it to where it's flat on top. Um, if you do that, then you should be, then you should be good. Only thing I have to do now is cut the stall mats. So just as a recap, plastic wrap if you have dampness, four pieces of four foot by eight foot plywood to make an eight foot by eight foot platform. There's about 36 screws in the perimeter. There's about 20 in the middle underneath this one. And then we've got a high grade quality plywood. There's 14 two inch screws screwed in through all three layers of the plywood. And then we've got horse stall mats that I should have about, about four, four mats once I'm done. And then, yeah, all that's left to do after that is to paint a logo on this and then Verithane. Anyway, I'm gonna cover it with a nice clear coat, kind of like you would find at a basketball gym, just to cover the logo and keep it nice. And uh, that's how you build a deadlift platform. There's something I need to explain. These are not easy to cut through. Let me just let me just show you. All right. So it's a red guideline. It goes the entire length of the mat. What I would recommend is that you place your mats on a higher surface. I am not going to do that because these mats are about 95 pounds, and I don't feel like lifting it up onto a table to then pull it off the table. I make a lot of complaints, but I really am enjoying myself. This is this is the type of carpentry and woodworking and metalworking I enjoy. So I didn't really enjoy it that much growing up, but that's because it just wasn't what I was interested in. So I've only got a couple things left to do. I've got to screw the horse stall mat onto the platform. Once those are done, the platform's done, really. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, it's basically the first piece of equipment in achieving my dream of having my own gym. So I'm gonna treat it as such. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a logo, I'm gonna print my logo out and I'm gonna go to Office Depot and get it blown up. I'll put it in the middle of the, uh, the platform. Um, and I'm just gonna spray paint that in uh, once I get the cutout. And it'll be about right here. That'll be Tuesday that I'll get the logo. Uh, tonight, some finishing touches that I'm gonna do. I picked up some wood stain. So I've got some red mahogany, verithane wood stain that I'm gonna stain this with. And this was only like seven bucks. And then to help with the moisture, I also picked up 
some all-weather, long-lasting, moisture-repelling urethane. So this is the interior exterior urethane from Olympic. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stain it first and then that'll be it for tonight. Um, hopefully the next time I turn on the camera uh, will be for the second layer of the stain, the spray paint uh, for the logo, and then the final urethane. And then this will be all set, be all ready to go. All right. Um, I'm not sure if the time lapse got it or not. I spilled the paint, the stain. I tried to, I tried to put it down. Uh, I spilled it. I got all over the mats. I washed the mats down. They don't look bad. It looks like it washed right off. I mean, they are urine mats for horses. So I got a drill bit for the uh, the screws, the carpenter screws that I got the other day. It is a star shaped. Hopefully, you can see this. It's a star-shaped drill bit. So if you make the same mistake that I do and you get carpenter screws and you don't have a drill bit for it, it's a star-shaped uh, Allen wrench drill bit that you need for it. And it's only like four bucks, okay? So what we're gonna do now for the next 40 minutes, because I have to go to CrossFit, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna screw in the horse stall mats. And then tomorrow I'll get the logo from Home Office Depot. Uh, I'll spray paint it on and then urethane it, polyurethane it, and it'll be good. All right, so the deadlift platform is complete. Uh, we've got all the mats screwed in with the carpenter screws. Um, overall, I think it did, I did a good job uh, for the first one. Um, many more to come if somebody wants one. I'll definitely build it for you or watching this, you could probably build it yourself. Um, the only thing left to do is to get the logo printed from Office Depot. A uh, lot more to come. I'm going to do some concrete weights. I'm going to do a barbell build with my dad, a squat rack build with my dad. Um, the concrete weights I can do in the next few weeks, I'll probably get started on those. Um, those are going to be sick. You guys are really going to enjoy that. So, uh, yeah, pretty much done until tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go to Office Depot, pick up some stuff, uh, do the logo, and then it'll be done. Anyway, that's it.